Mm. I had two panic attacks in one day. I can't even tell you the last time. And then I was so drained for like a solid week after that. Like it takes so much effort to get back. It's crazy how it takes a few things to slip for you to like just a few little things here or there for you to like have that massive panic attack and the effort it takes to kind of build yourself back up. I was just feeling so overwhelmed. And if I'm being really honest, I think I was feeling really fearful, really fearful about being in a position where I had to make some big decisions. I wasn't coping. I had spread myself too thin and I didn't want to give up on anything else I was doing because I feel like all the new things that I'm doing, I'm A, really passionate about. B, I feel like I I really believe in it, going to do amazing things like this podcast. I absolutely love it. So I was looking at my schedule and I'm like, where can I pull back? And for me, that has been YouTube. And I'm so emotionally attached to YouTube. I don't know what it is, but I think it's because that was a platform that really kickstarted me to be in the position that I am in. And I'm so blessed and so lucky and grateful every single day to be here that A, I kind of feel like maybe I owe it to my audience to show up. Part of me feels like that. And then the other part of me is fearful of like the financial side and all those bits and pieces as well.